Ladies and gentlemen, your official introductions for this amateur welterweight bout. First of all, standing to my left, in the blue corner. He is 33 years of age, stands at 5 feet 8 inches tall, and weighed in at 75.6 kilograms. He hails from right here in Leicester and represents Leicester Shoot Fighters. Put your hands together for Courtney Royal! <laughs> and across the cage stands his opponent in the red corner. He is 25 years of age, stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, and weighed in at 73.8 kilograms. He hails from Dudley and represents UTC. Put your hands together for Paul Murphy. This happened about is held over three three-minute rounds. So here we are at Liquid and An MV in Leicester for Fuck MMA 3. The third edition of this event. I'm Dave B52 Butlin and this is my lesser known brother, <laughs> Andrew Hands of Stone Butlin. First fight tonight is Courtney Roll against Carl Murphy. Uh, could you explain the rules, Andrew, just quickly? Well, this is um, Class B semi pro rules. It's two five minute rounds. Headshot standing only using the uh, the bigger gloves. And uh, Courtney gets the takedown straight away over in his corner. Getting advice from Nathan Leverton. There's uh, no headshots on the ground. You see Courtney firing in the uh, the hooks to the body there. Seems to quite heavy body shots to be honest. Yeah, he looks like um, a very strong athletic guy. Carl gets back to his feet, but Courtney's got the ankle, so he's never going to get all the way up. Keeps him down there. Courtney looks very relaxed on top. Yeah, he looks, uh, looks very strong there as well. Let, oh, clips off well. Well done by Murph to get back up. And he's off his feet now. That's uh, one of the first times I've seen that, he's holding the cage with his foot. <laughs> Doing well to get back to his feet each time here, Carl. Oh, oh. Good, good powerful knee to the body there. And it looks like he's attacking from the neck. Possibly an anaconda. Both guys showing good strength here. Well, he's got Cal, Cal he's working got the foot the to take him down there. So now we have Carl on top. Let's see what Carl's like off his back or whether he's going to try and get back to his feet. He looks fairly, fairly relaxed here. Looks like he's looking to stand under. Oh, maybe a sweep back to top position as he's scooted his hips out to the side. Carl doing a good job of keeping his shoulders pinned. I think Carl's going to try and uh, look for the arm there. He lost it. Back to full guard. Carl using uh, um, Courtney, sorry, using a lot, a lot of upper body strength there, trying to pull down um, using the tire clinch. Yeah, think it, back to the feet. Let's, uh, let's see who's favouring the striking. Courtney doesn't look uh, like he, he wants to stand and trade. No, it looks like he wants a bit more of a grappling match, to be honest. Ground and pound on the floor, the clinch. Good, Good with the knees. To the body. How would you score that round, Andy? I think, I think uh, Courtney looked to have the better of the round. He, he was um, scoring the, the better takedowns. I know um, Carl got one takedown, but I'd say Courtney looked um, very relaxed in the, uh, on the top, even though neither really went for anything. 
Looks to be using quite a lot of strength from the bottom, though. Yeah, I'd agree with that. Yeah. Uh, both of them seem to be using a lot of strength, and uh, both look like strong guys. I suppose uh, maybe towards the end of the fight might take its toll a little. Depends on the cardio. I'd expect um, Courtney to come straight out, look to engage in a clinch, uh, take down, get top position. Yeah, going on the, uh, the first round, uh, I think that's what Courtney's going to try and do. He closes the distance well, uses good knees in the clinch, and then looks for a takedown. Getting ready for round two. I smile at each other from uh, either corner and I show respect. Two big kicks gone in there. Courtney straight in for the clinch. Let's see if he works these knees. Courtney seems very confident with his base stood up. Not really making much effort to... He seems to be... Um, count oh, count knee to the groin. That, that looked painful. This guy's can uh, feel his pain. That's, that's definitely yeah. much more difficult than childbirth. Without a doubt. I was just about to say, um, Courtney seems to be uh, counter clinching rather than actually instigating the takedown from the clinch. Yeah, I think he's, um, he's, he's getting just, into this. He's just sta standing his ground and, uh, and working from there. That, uh, he looks very strong. Yeah. Looks in that, a lot of pain. That might have took a little bit of strength <laughs> out of him, to be honest. Shouldn't laugh because uh, I know how that feels, but I'm sure it wasn't intentional. Um, we're back Definitely to the wasn't now. intentional. <laughs> Look at Carl getting very busy here with pushing. strikes. Carl looks a decent striker on the outside. I think he should have uh, worked on that a little more. Yeah, he's getting very busy in this round as well. Courtney's doing a good job controlling those ankles. Good advice there from the corner to hook the leg with his legs. He's using a lot of strength to put him onto his back there. But Carl does a good job of... Um, Staying on his backside and getting back up to his feet. No well, headshots on the ground, remember? So um, let's see what escapes uh, Carl's got. He could use the cage here, Andy. They're very close to the cage. Yeah, he could run up the cage and uh, and bridge him off. Sneak out the back door. Oh, he's looking to stay the back here. Some decent jiu-jitsu skills from Courtney. Yeah. Looking to secure this position and, and look for the choke. It seems to be settling oh. into that position. If he can get this left hook in and stretch him out. He needs to get his hips down, he needs to, control, he needs to not get his hip, keep his hips so high. He is listening to his corner, his corner there. Yeah, and it's good advice as good well, his corner shot. giving him good really good advice. Shot. It's all over Carl at the minute. Oh, Carl did a good job of turning into him. Now in top position. Courtney didn't keep his hips close enough as his corner was shouting to, for him to do. Yeah, just lift a little He's too got much a nice room. overhook here. This could set up, uh, if it wasn't for the cage on the far side, the submissions would be a lot easier. It could still work a triangle, possibly. I think that's what he's working for. He's locked up the arm there. Let's see if he can... He could also get a, sl a sweep from here. This position is always, oh, is always awkward. From oh, there's the buzzer to end the round. Next to the cage. I'd give that round to Courtney as well. Just um, 
on the takedowns and control, although I think Carl was a lot busier with his um, strikes on the outside. He, he didn't get much opportunity to use the strikes, but yeah, I, I definitely agree. He looked like he could have been a, a, a very good striker there. Yeah, it was if a good variety of strikes as well, not just... Um, Interesting spinning back fist he threw in there as well. Yeah. So the rules of this, there's no headshot standing or on the floor. Is that what it says? Yes, that was actually an amateur bout, and it was, uh, it's three three-minute rounds. Yes, we're looking into the third round now. I gave the uh, rules for the semi-pro contest. But this, uh, this, no headshots at all. Not a decent bit of ex uh, exchange on the feet here. It's, this could be a good final round if they stand and turn for a little while. Yeah, both fighters look um, competent on the feet. Courtney's looking to walk in and clinch, I think, here. Oh, and that's good, a powerful good. knee. knee Very powerful knee. I think he's noticing that Carl might be tiring a little bit and he's letting loose. Can see him uh, take to be a couple fair, of Carl, Carl took that well and he's, uh, he's still there. Courtney could be at risk of blowing himself out if he uh, does try and finish that way. Oh, looked like he twisted, it, it. twisted Carl's knee as he fell a little there. Done well to land in the top position. That could have been tiredness on uh, Courtney's part. Yeah. He's, he's still he's, he's working on the inside. He's a bit further from the cage now. Yeah, and he's still attacking. He's got the uh, underhook on the right-hand side. Carl escapes that. He's, he's not really got an active guard. I think he's using a lot of upper body strength, isn't he, Courtney? It's, uh, but, yeah, but when he climbs his legs up, he does look quite dangerous. When he gets an overhook, he looks quite dangerous. He just doesn't seem to be um, pushing for it too much. I think that could be a, a lack of confidence in, in his Possibly. submissions. It, it looks like he's got the skills there. He's um, just not necessarily wanting to try him. Yeah, I think he just needs to follow through with uh, with his attempts. Yeah. Looks like it could be very good. Carl needs to keep his hands off the mats. He needs to get his posture back up, as he has done now. Courtney could sit out here. Courtney does look very tired. I don't think he's going to... Uh... Yeah, Carl looks quite fresh. And to lift Courtney up like that, he's, uh, he's going to have some strength left in him. Referee's bringing it back to the feet. Let's see if we can yeah, see good some call there by the ref. <clears throat> yeah, Connor looks very tight. Oh, last bit of strength. Oh, there's a good take down there. Right really on the buzzer. Right, right before the end. How would you score that last round then, Dave? I think that final takedown could have uh, clinched it for him. It was a close final round. That would edge the fight anyway to um, Courtney Roll from Leicester Shoot Fighters. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for both these warriors for kicking off the show tonight. And after three hard fought rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards and they see your winner by split decision, Blue Corner, Courtney Ryan! Put your hands together for his opponent, Paul Murphy!